A covered bridge should have a longer lifespan, but as time goes on, the country's covered bridges are fading away. A look around, though, you'll find some of them attract a lot of tourists. Destination Illinois' Jack Gerfin takes you to four bridges in central Illinois. What was once a vital way to cross a river is now a popular type of sightseeing destination. And while some of the covered bridges in central Illinois are too old, this one in Muhammad at Lake of the Woods, you can drive right over. Their design not only makes them photogenic, it is crucial to their design to distribute the weight to carry a heavy load. Some may not serve the original purpose they were built to do, but they do give us a reason to take the back roads for a look back in history. While Indiana is known for their covered bridges, four of these bridges still exist in central Illinois. Sugar Creek Covered Bridge to the southeast of Chatham is the oldest one on the list. Built by Thomas Black in 1827, it spans 110 feet over the Sugar Creek. It has been closed to traffic since 1984, but can be enjoyed in a park now while on foot. With it only being minutes away from the Glen Arm exit off of I-55, it is easy to get to. About an hour and 20 minutes southeast from there is the Thompson Mill Covered Bridge in Cowden. It's only in central Illinois that you're going to find the Thompson Mill Bridge. This covered bridge that you see behind me is actually the narrowest covered bridge in all of Illinois. Built in 1868 at a cost of $2,500, this bridge crosses the Kaskaskia River to provide the nearby Thompson Mill an access point to the important Springfield to Effingham route. Now you can only walk across it. From the narrowest covered bridge, we go 50 minutes east to the longest covered bridge in the state, the Cumberland County Covered Bridge following Old Highway 40. Spanning 200 feet over the Ember River, this is the newest bridge. It was completed in 2000 to replicate the original Jackson Covered Bridge from 1832 that suffered numerous washouts. It was even part of the route for the 2021 Hot Rod Power Tour. The final bridge on the list is another hour and 20 minutes to the north in the beautiful Lake of the Woods Forest Preserve in Muhammad. Just a great way to really get the community and the area involved. Um, people come here for pictures, whether it's senior pictures, family pictures, prom pictures. This bridge was originally built in the 1960s over 18 months to connect the two sides of the forest preserve. Designed by U of I civil engineering instructor German Gerfinkel, it will undergo some roof renovations later this year and is likely the busiest in terms of the traffic on the list. For Destination Illinois, I'm Jack Gerfin. All of these bridges are free and look great throughout the year. We provided the exact location of each of them for you online at ourquadcities.com.